Hi, my name is Pip Crispins, and I'm going to be responding to the week four discussion question. Uh, we were to watch the video on various ways to use instructional strategies for inclusive practices and respond to what we learned in the video and a few strategies we would want to implement in our classroom and what barriers we think we might face and overcome addressing and specifically addressing students with disabilities. Um, what I learned from the video was all about differentiated instruction and how differentiated instruction allows students to do different activities provides options that suits every learner by allowing them to choose between activities. So in the video, there was a teacher who was teaching about all the gods and goddesses to her students, and she had given them a choice board where they were having to choose a method in which they were going to communicate what they learned regarding the topic. So she provided options for students to complete the tasks and created activities such as writing a poem, doing a charade, comic strip, retelling your own words, writing down evidence and interpret, categorize ideas in a graphic organizer, and reflecting on and write in a journal. <clears throat> and a few others discuss and come to a conclusion, write it down and, pres and present. And the goal for differentiated instruction is achievable on many levels, I learned, because it's easier to reach when teachers work together to help individual students. It works well for classrooms with unidentified and identified special needs students. Accommodations the teacher made was breaking the assignments up in chunks, giving extra time, and asking the students what they think about their assignments and what they should assign. Um, I thought that was such a great piece of insight from that teacher because I've never really thought to ask a student how they, what kind of assignment they would like assigned to them instead of asking them to complete a, an assignment that they don't want to complete. So one to two, out of the one to two instructional strategies I would pull from this video would be doing something just like that, providing a choice board for a project such as this, and then uh, allowing the students to choose based off their learning style. And then I also enjoyed what like the end of that choice board how the teacher provided a rubric for the assignment to show what score they would get based off the work they provide and um i really like the accommodations i just spoke about and i can i can really relate with what the teacher was struggling with having to put out of her mind the fact that students in her class or maybe just in the school, some students were violent, some students were selling drugs, some students were in gangs or in a difficult home life, but I liked how she brought it back and said, students can show self-control despite their difficulties at home. And the choices really allows them to express themselves in a creative way and allows them to learn the subject matter in a way that resonates with their learning style. And then another instructional strategy I would implement is the active listening. She had spoke about reminding students to do active listening while other students are presenting. So encouraging them to listen and giving respect. And that all ties together with the last portion of this discussion. Um, with the obstacles I might face are students feeling self-conscious and not sure of themselves. So if students have a disability, they might be less likely to open up 
to their peers or feel comfortable around their peers. So making them feel accepted and appreciated for who they are by allowing them to do that choice and then working on, on the project with them one-on-one -on -one, I think is a great instructional strategy that I can use to overcome those obstacles. Um, thank you for listening and I look forward to hearing yours.